Hello and Welcome to 7 Days of Science, where we give you a quick recap of what's been happening in the world of science for the last week. Not that much actually this time, probably the biggest thing that's happened this week is that around 150 pilot whales were stranded on a beach in Western Australia. They were discovered on Friday by a fisherman, and a rescue operation was started to try and return the creatures to the sea. Over 100 wildlife personnel, volunteers, and some more came to try and save the dying whales, but unfortunately only 6 were saved, with more than 140 of them perishing on the beach. It is not known what causes this, but it's theorised that unwell whales accidentally find themselves on the beach and call for help, causing even more to be stranded. Some better news now, the Curiosity rover has reached 2,000 souls, or Martian days, on Mars! The little machine was meant to last only for a two year mission, but that has been extended indefinitely by NASA as it continues to monitor the Gale Crater. Over the many years that it has been on the Red Planet, it has taken some truly stunning pictures of the surface of another world, and has played a pivotal role in the discovery that there used to be lakes and rivers of water on the surface of Mars. Back to Earth now, kind of, a Manchester University led team has held trials on equipment that will attempt to find hidden iron meteorites in Antarctica. Ten times fewer iron meteorites have been found in Antarctica in comparison to Earth's other continents, and this team is trying to find those that might just be hidden in that snowy barren landscape. A very unique prehistoric reptile has been described this week, the small, less than one metre long colobops from the Triassic rocks of Connecticut. Although it was a very tiny animal, with a skull that was only 2.5 centimetres long, this creature actually has an incredibly strong bite. This reptile would have had enormous jaw muscles when it was alive, giving it a bite far stronger than any other animal of its size. One of the coolest things about fossils are the stories that you can tell simply by examining them, and this next discovery does just that. There is a specimen of Chinese sauropod dinosaur called Lefengosaurus that preserves an injury on one of the ribs, and it looks like something that was possibly caused by a failed predator attack. The injury shows signs of a bone infection called osteomythelitis, so it seems that bacteria from the teeth of whatever attacked this animal caused this infection, and although this individual survived the initial attack, it's possible that the infection eventually caused its death in the end. More Chinese dinosaurs next, as there's a new oviraptorosaur called Anomalipes that was named this week. This species is usually small for the group of oviraptorosaurs that it belongs to, and provides some interesting information on the variety of sizes within the group. This week there's also been the discovery of the first good remains of a prehistoric quadrupedal sirenian, the group of mammals that includes the dungongs and the manatees. This ancient creature represents a kind of transitional form between the two groups of prehistoric sirenian groups as the order adapted from an amphibious lifestyle to more a strictly aquatic one. Thank you very much for tuning in this week, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday.